Let's see how you can get smooth skin here in Photoshop Elements. Hi, I'm George. Let me be showing you a couple of different skin smoothing techniques. One technique is for newer versions of Photoshop Elements and one technique is for older versions. Now, if you find this video useful, make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button as well, along with that bell icon for notifications of future videos. And if you're a member of my channel, you can also get the download for this image and it's in the Photo Coach program at the bottom of the right side menu. Okay, we'll start off with the most important thing and that's to get rid of any blemishes. And we have a very good picture here already, but there are a few things if you begin to really look at this, if I zoom in a bit here, as so we have kind of a bright highlight in here, we have a few little blemishes, not very much. You wanna minimize those as much as you can before you do any skin smoothing. So for that, let's just go over here and we'll grab the standard spot healing brush tool. I always use this with a soft brush and proximity match I found works most of the time. And then just come in, if you see anything that's not quite right, just tap on that. You don't wanna to do too much of this, but you wanna just help get a more even tone. Now, if you get too close to something like an eyebrow, you may get something weird like that happening. So use the Control Z keyboard shortcut to undo. That also means don't go too fast on this, so you don't end up having to go back several steps. And just try to go around and get the skin looking a little bit more consistent, more even tone, and remove any obvious blemishes in there. It doesn't take that much. Just a little work around here. Now, you don't want to really take out any real good highlight like that. If you have a couple of highlights, take out one of them, but leave the major one. That just will let it be a bit more realistic looking in here. And I think that's pretty good. Now with the spot healing brush, you can adjust your brush size as the left square bracket or the right square bracket. Let's say I wanted to just get rid of this little nose thing right there, just take that out. There we are. Not really seeing any other problems in here. Now one thing to watch out for when we go and do smooth the skin, and that's that you don't want to begin losing any actual detail. Skin smoothing is a process of blurring the image out in specific areas. And oftentimes you may find some blurring in areas you don't want like in around the eyes, maybe around the hair edges in here or around the lips. Be careful you don't begin to get any of that. It looks more plastic if that happens. You wanna do a little bit of skin smoothing, but not too much skin smoothing. Okay, let's look at our two techniques. Now, the first one is the fast method, and this is if you have Photoshop 2020 or newer. Go up to the Enhance menu. We have a smooth skin option right here. This is going to go through. It's going to identify where the face is. There it is. We have a before and after right here. You also can zoom in. Let's just zoom in a bit and adjust our positions. We can see what's going on. There we go. And then a slider control here for adjusting your smoothness. If I go clear to the top, Let's do before and after, here's after, and here's before. And this does a real nice job of smoothing out the skin, but there are some problems with it. Notice that we're losing some detail in here around the eyes and a little bit around the tops of the eyebrows. You don't wanna have that happen. You wanna keep all that detail in there. We're also losing a little bit on the edges of the nose. So it comes out being just a little bit too soft. So there's a way to work around that. Let's just cancel this. And that's to go over here, make a duplicate of your background layer. Duplicate, choose OK. There's our background copy. Let's now do our smooth skin up here. Enhance, come down to smooth skin. We'll do the same thing. I'll push it clear to the top. Although you may want to find a lower setting, but I'm using clear to the top for this demonstration just so you can really see what's going on here. Choose OK. There's a lot of smoothing. Now if I show and hide that, you can see there's the Smoothing does a real nice job, but again, we have problems around the eyes specifically and right around the nose. It's kind of a soft focus lens effect, which is not really what I wanna be going for. Now to solve that, all we have to do is hide parts of the skin smoothing layer. So let's go up here, hit the new layer mask button. There we go. Make sure your foreground color is black. Grab a paintbrush. You want this on a soft edge brush. And I have my set at 100%, which is okay for this. And then just paint on the layer mask Look for that light blue outline, let you know that you're on the layer mask side. Then just paint right over the areas you want to keep, just like that, and bring back in some of that detail. And I would check all around the eyes in here, and I check over the tops and the bottoms of the eyebrows. You want to keep that detail in there. And also around the nose, right in there, so you keep that detail. And maybe 
around the upper end of the lip that usually does get a bit of a problem right there. And it's those things, those little areas, those hard edges, that's what the eye looks at to determine whether or not the image is in focus or not. So you wanna have those sharp. So your eye says it's in focus, it just has really nice skin. Okay, let's back out a little bit on that. And I think that looks really nice. Here's the before and here's the after on that. Okay, that's one technique. Let's hide that one now. Let's say that you have an earlier version of Photoshop Elements. You want to do the same kind of skin softening. We can do it. It's a little bit more work, but not much. Same idea here. Let's go over here. Right click on the background layer. Duplicate that layer. Choose OK. We'll do our softening on this. I'm going to zoom in again. I'm going to zoom in and out like this. I'm just using the scroll wheel on my mouse. If you don't have a scroll wheel, then just use the zoom tool up here. If you do have a scroll wheel, this is real easy. Go up to edit, come down to preferences and general. And this is that option right here, zoom with scroll wheel. Okay, so now go over here to this. Looks like a drop, little water drop. That's your blur tool. You want to have this with a soft edge brush again. In the sizes, whatever is good for you. A little larger is better than a little smaller. And then it's come in and paint in where you want to have things blurred out. Now I have this set clear to 100% so it goes real fast for this video. If I was doing this, actually I would lower this down to maybe 80% in here and take a little more time getting just the right amount of softness or smoothness. Stay away from your hard edges. You don't want to have those smoothed down. And only do maybe just one swipe along your highlight Leave that mostly alone, and then smooth everything else. So as you can see, it's a little bit more work. You have to go around and do all these kind of areas, make some choices and decisions in here, and just work your way around the picture, but you should still get a nice skin smoothing technique this way. This actually has more control than the new skin smoothing tool, but I really like how that one looks. It does a great job. But again, this works just fine older versions of Photoshop Elements. I'll back out just a little bit here. And this is our after, here's the before. So before and after. And I think that looks great. So there you go, a couple of different ways of doing this, easy to do. If you wanna have this working file here and you wanna get the download, again, that is a bonus of being a member of my channel. And that comes with getting my Photoshop Elements Coach program. If you wanna find out more about that, I'll put a link for that at the top of my description. Don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos in the future. And I'll see you next time.